This is your 420 Radio News for Monday, September 23rd, 2013. I'm Russ Belleville. No detectable association between frequency of marijuana use and health care usage from MedicalExpress.com. Researchers from Boston Medical Center and Boston University School of Medicine have found frequency of marijuana use was not significantly associated with health services utilization or health status. These findings currently appear online in the Journal of General Internal Medicine. The researchers studied 589 adults who screened positive for drug use at a primary care visit. Those patients were asked about their drug use, their emergency room use, and hospitalizations, and their overall health status. In addition, information about other medical diagnoses was obtained from their medical records. They found the vast majority of the study sample, 84%, used marijuana. They also found no differences between daily marijuana users and those using no marijuana in their use of the emergency room, in hospitalizations, medical diagnoses, or their health status. Half ounce of pot gets Louisiana man 20 years in prison from dissidentvoice.org. While Colorado and Washington have decriminalized recreational use of marijuana and 20 states allow for its use for medical purposes, a Louisiana man was sentenced to 20 years in prison in New Orleans criminal court for possessing 15 grams, 0.529 of an ounce of marijuana. Corey Ladd, age 27, had prior drug convictions and was sentenced September 4th as a multiple offender to 20 years hard labor at the Department of Corrections. Louisiana arrests about 13,000 people per year for marijuana. While Louisiana's population is 32% black, 60% of arrests for marijuana are African American. In Louisiana, a person can get up to six months in jail for the first marijuana conviction, up to five years in prison for the second conviction, and up to 20 years in prison for the third. In fact, the Louisiana Supreme Court recently overturned a sentence of five years as too lenient for a fourth possession of marijuana and ordered the person sentenced to at least 13 years. An undercover sting operation nabbed an Atlanta area sheriff's deputy who was selling marijuana out of his patrol car and in uniform, federal authorities say, reports WPTV.com. Newton County Deputy Daryl Mathis was freed on bond after his arrest after his arrest last week, the FBI said. Mathis had been charged with possession of marijuana with intent to distribute and carrying a firearm during a drug offense, a charge that could bring a possible life sentence if convicted. He did not immediately return messages seeking comment Sunday. The complaint states that Mathis told the informant he wasn't concerned about getting caught because of his safe driving and police credentials. Mathis boasted, I do my little 10 to 15 pounds a week, the arrest affidavit states. Federal agents found a pound of pot on Mathis when he was arrested last week, the FBI said. 22 medical marijuana applicants weeded out by Massachusetts Department of Public Health from MassLive.com. A total of 22 applicants for medical marijuana dispensaries were eliminated on Monday from competition by the state's Department of Public Health. The process now leaves 158 applicants for dispensary licenses for medical marijuana. In a stiff financial hurdle, applicants needed to de demonstrate they have at least $500,000 in liquid capital assets to pass the first phase. Applicants are competing for as many as 35 dispensary licenses the state can issue under a ballot law for medical marijuana approved in November. If applicants pass muster on the first phase, they are clear to proceed to a second phase, which requires a $30,000 application fee. Free pot, Boulder Marijuana Giveaway set Monday on Pearl from DailyCamera.com. Organizers are billing the giveaway as both a campaign event and flood relief, giving joints to medical marijuana patients and stressed out recreational users who may have lost their stashes in the flooding. Flood relief donations also will be accepted at the event. Rob Corey, who helped organize the event and hopes to defeat Proposition AA, a statewide pot tax measure said quote boulder has been victimized by floods we want to bring some flood relief to folks end quote proposition double a is a statewide ballot question that will ask voters in november to approve a 15 percent excise tax and an initial 10 percent sales tax that could be raised up to 15 percent This has been your 420 Radio News for Monday, September 23rd, 2013.
I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines on the Boulder Marijuana Giveaway to take a look at the results of the taxation if it were to pass, the promises from campaigners on what would happen if marijuana legalization were to pass, and how that might just be a bait and switch that we need to avoid. You're listening to the Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back.